The message you are about to listen to is from House on the Rock, the governing house at Bakliki, where leaders are raised, discipled, and equipped to salt the nation. Something is about to happen in your life. Hallelujah. The Bible says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. The reason why a lot of Christians don't know how to manifest God because you, you are, you're not created to show forth your praise. You don't have any praise. You were not created to show forth your beauty because you do not have any beauty. You are not created to show forth your wealth because you do not have wealth. You were called to show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let me explain it to you. Help the Twitter part of it. When the manufacturer of a Mercedes Benz creates a brand, maybe a 2022 um, formatic, that's beautiful machine. I want you to understand that there are two people, two persons that enjoys that machine. That machine does not just go about and start to say, I am Mercedes Benz. See me. See my glory. Don't you see the crest of Mercedes Benz on me? No, no, no. The, the, is, that car does not have the right to go and glory on itself. Because it was not designed to arouse his glory. So the car was designed, number one, to show for the creativity of the designer. Then number two, it also show for the ability for the owner who is ready to pay a premium price to acquire that piece of machine. Then that person cannot go and say, see my car. The car cannot say, see my owner. Are you following me? But God created us with a will so that we can glory on ourselves if we want. We can back, say, I made the money. I married the wife. I graduated from that course. You can brag on yourself. But guess what? He now placed a, placed a principle. A principle. He said, for God resist the proud and give it grace to the humble. So that means when you now see yourself that I have attained, I have attained, I'm the boss of myself, I'm the man of myself, I can do whatsoever I want to do. He said, okay now, the devil will not need to fight you anymore because at that time, the devil does not qualify to fight you. Why? Because pride has destroyed him. So he will not be able to wage war against you. So it will be God himself coming to stop you from growth. That's why many persons are where they are. For God resists the pride and give grace to the humble. So when we say come and pray, you are like a Mercedes Benz car. That the owner said, let us go to our village. And they own it. It starts. And it doesn't fail on the road. When they say, come and give. It's like a Mercedes-Benz car that carried three persons on the passenger seat. And did not tell the owner of the car that the thing that you are putting on me is too heavy. When they say, come and worship. It's like when you own the Mercedes-Benz car in the garage. And it will just be steaming. We are not driving you anywhere. But we want you to be steaming. Play music for us. And let the interior of the car be chilling. That is what the car will do. Never will the car say, you own don't too much. But look at a generation today who have become the boss of themselves. 
They choose when to come to church, which church to go. Even when God has told them, go submit to that man of God. Go submit to that church. He said, forget it. It is my life. How many of you have heard that word? This life, I will not live it twice. It's once. You are not wise. I'm almost pushed to say, oh, foolish generation. A man said, eat now, rest. You have built enough for yourself. And the Bible said, that night, the owner of his soul came and said, give me my life. Give me the key to that car. No matter how beautiful a car is, without a key, is devoid of its beauty. You see, it is not the owner that starts the car, it's the key that starts the car. The key of your destiny is breath. If divinity said, we are tired of your character, they can recall you home. There is a certain time a brand of Corolla was produced and it was faulty. They say in one year, it was the highest recall of an automobile. Over 30,000 pieces of cars were recalled back. Uh, is recall not the same thing like that? Many believers who refuse to design the body of Christ say some of you become sick and even some of you die because you did not submit yourself to the mighty hand of God so that he can elevate you in due season. When he sends you for evangelism, what does it mean? It's like a man said in his car, say go, go and show, just I want to stroll with you. I know they go anywhere. I just want to check the street light at night. I want to check how my car can race when the night is free. That's when God sends you on his errand. But you, you say you are too busy. Forget me. Now me, hey, oh me, worry big boy. Any good big boy. I back a little big girl. Preach the word of God. No wonder in the realm of the spirit, you don't count. Look at your neighbor and say, are you blessed already? Like just like Pastor Nana said with these few words of mine, be able to prove you. Let me read a scripture for you, Abby. Matthew chapter 9, 35 to 38. We prayed on these scriptures. Let me say something about prayer before I read and close. It takes a long time to build the vial. That would transmit your prayer from earth to the heaven. It takes a long. The heaven and the earth are very far. There are certain structures in the heaven rain that are designed to insist that your prayer does not ascend. And when we are growing up, there is this this toy. How many of you remember this toy? It used to be like a dock. It has a cap and a ball is on it. You blow it. How many of you know? It jumps up and it's your skill that will make it fall. And you keep blowing. The more you target the point, the higher it goes. That is how prayer is. There are forces of darkness that their own is to ensure that your prayer does not arise. That's why the Bible says it is the effectual. It is the consistent. It is the fervent prayer of the righteous that make available first tremendous power to be able to push it into those realms. That's why most of you, you pray nothing happens because you have not been fervent. You have not been effective. You don't have tenacious. You don't have staying power. You can watch a movie, but you cannot pray prayer. If they wake you by 12 to pray, you sleep. And even in the WhatsApp group, the only thing you'll be answering is amen. Amen. Oh my God. Touch your neighbor, the pastor is not talking to you. He's not talking to you at all. You're not the one. Let me read scripture. And close. I started the journey of prayer when I was 14 years started praying. The first time I made up my mind that I would start praying. 14 years. 14 years to today is about 30 years. And I have not scratched prayer. And you are now 35. You have not started. So that means at 92, 
you will be still saying that I have not prayed. Because it takes time. And the first 20, first 13 years of my life, I was not chasing money. Somebody was paying my bills. So I don't have worry on what to eat, what to wear, and what to drink, and where to live. I was living on that roof, borrowed roof. But now that you have to find your own money, train your children, it has to be double discipline to pray. Your word will be, Father, we have toiled all night and we have prayed nothing. Eh? 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 You know, scriptures can be, uh, Father, we've, we've toiled all day and we have prayed nothing. Let's read one to go. Let's read. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages. What was he doing there? Somebody say teaching. Why did he go around? Let's read verse 34 first. Read verse 34. One to go. Let's read verse 34. But the Pharisees said, He cast it outward devils through the prince of the devils. So that means there is a possibility to cast devil using the devil. I showed you that there is what is called the workers of iniquity. How many of you remember? There is a college. Iniquity can bring spiritual results. That's why you be careful about prophetic homes. Every time you are chasing, you are chasing. They just tell you, cross water, you will cross. Cross river, you will cross. Bring this, you will bring. It's easier for you to ask somebody to pray for you. But God did not put the answers to your prayer in somebody's else's prayer. We can pray for you when you are a baby Christian. But as soon as you, the heaven look as if you've passed pampas. If you poo poo, will flog you. If your child that is two years poo poo and you did not cane him. Poo poo and play with the poo poo on the ground. And you say it's a child, it's a child. One year, two years, three years, four years, you are still living it. You are an irresponsible father. And God is not an irresponsible God. After four years in the kingdom, you are still playing with vomit and poo poo. I got piagin tally. I got piagin. We will flog you. That's why one of the realm, what, the way we flog in this kingdom is that when you begin to speak, you will not count. It will not matter. Okay, let me not share the truth in this scripture. I'll leave it to another day. Mm, 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 mm. You can cast out devils with devils. That's why you'll be careful. Hey, pastor, you don't know the miracles. Yes. But the last time I checked, the Bible said, this sign shall follow them that believe. And you are a believer. Why are you not having your own? Why do you need to wait for somebody to manifest? Why you should you have the same Holy Spirit? In Numbers chapter 11, Paul, uh, Moses was praying. Say, Lord, I wish that this prophetic dimension that I carry, it should rest on everyone. That everyone could prophesy the way I prophesy. Today, that prophetic word has come to pass. If each one of us will carry the Holy Spirit, yet somebody else is manifesting, you go and sit under his light instead of you to show for the praise of him who has called you out of darkness. How many times did I tell you? Three times. The truth of the matter is that you carry God. And if you don't shine, that light of God's glory will not be brightest. God needs you to shine. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, you, not only Pastor Bride, we cast out devils. You will speak with new tongues. If by any means you pick up anything that is serpentic, you will be able to handle them with care. If you pick harmful things, it will not hurt you. And if you drink poison, it will not have effect on your life. And if you lay your hands on the sick, the sick shall recover. They see you. You are going for everybody to lay hands. After 25 years in the Lord, Imara, nothing. The only thing Ima, now now also, finish. Somebody say amen. Let me tell you, I was praying yesterday night with some persons by midnight and the Lord told me, go and tell my, first, my children, see, if you cannot preach and you cannot teach, in short, you are not a child of God. The test of the fact that you are a believer is that you must be able to preach and teach this word. I started preaching this word from eight years. Eight years. <laughs> eight years. Somebody say eight years. Messed up in sin, but preaching the word. Foolishness. Till I gave my life to Christ at 11 years and 10 months. October. Finally. 
October 1989. Some of you were not born. If you are below 31, 33 years, you were not born then. And from that time, for one day, I have not said no from forward ever. When will you start your journey? When will you share your testimony? When will the world hear your news? Your fine girl, when will you preach? Hey, you are healing yourself. See, if we want to boast, let's boast that we do what? That we know the Lord. Hey, look at your neighbor and say, are you hearing? Are you hearing? Okay, now even though you know here, yeah, I hear. Somebody say amen. It's and, the, and the Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel. If Jesus taught and Jesus Preach and he taught, you ought also to what? To preach and to teach. Say amen. Okay, let's say a big amen. Thank you.